Oh, you guys can see. I'm gonna I just wanted to tell you guys about a pre-sale offer. I just wanted to tell you guys about a pre-sale offer. I just wanted to tell you you guys about a pre-sale offer. I just wanted to tell you guys about a pre-sale offer. I just wanted to tell you guys about a pre-sale offer. I just wanted to tell you Thank you guys, really. Thank you for being in attendance. Another year is officially in the books, and another one starts. God blessed me with another birthday last week. I'm humbled to be in your presence, and I'm honored to be celebrating with you all today. Success is measured by people in different ways. As time goes on, and people come in and out of your life, you begin to realize the importance and value of the ones who stuck by you through your ups and downs. We don't lose friends, we just realize who the real ones are. This is a realization that takes many years to culminate, and I can't express how truly thankful and blessed I am to have the type of support I have with my friends, my family, and my team who all helped make me the man I am today and continue to strive to be. A birthday is a good time to reevaluate your goals of where you are at. To me, achieving a goal is a signal to start on the next one. I feel like I've had an amazing run so far. Because of this business, I've been able to travel and visit multiple cities across the US and countries all over the world. It's pretty crazy. Many times I sit back and say, I can't believe this is actually happening. As of today, our company has produced over 2,000 events in 20 different U.S. states. We have over 250 signed talent in 10 countries around the world. We're currently in the process of opening our first content creator studio here in the Philippines. And just this month, I was made the first business consultant for live streaming at One Southern Live. Just a little over two years ago, we lost almost everything we had built in just 10 years. We had to start all over again. I'm sure you can all remember where you were at in March of 2020 when we went to lockdown. I, just like everyone else who had affected by that, we had two choices, and we still do. A, you could either cry and whine and complain, or make excuses, you could lock yourself in a room, binge watch TV shows, and wait for somebody to hopefully come along and fix, her, and fix your problem, or B, you can face that storm head on and not allow it to kill your business, not allow it to kill your dreams, and don't allow it to kill your career. Throughout life, storms come in many different shapes and sizes. Some don't leave a lasting impact more than a few days, and some are more manageable than others. However, some storms come in a size so overwhelming it can destroy everything you've worked on in just a few minutes. I knew back then that things would not go back to normal right away. I needed to change my entire business plan and approach as quickly as I could. Thankfully, I found a way to convert my existing business into something that could replace the lost income, but most importantly, help other individuals get through this pandemic. My goal is to continue serving others and help as many people as I can face their storm. I hope that whatever you are currently going through, you don't allow it to determine what happens to you tomorrow. Whatever pain you've been through and whatever pain you're going through, I want you to know that it wasn't made, it wasn't sent to make you weaker. I want you to know that it wasn't sent that it was sent to make you stronger. Trust that it wasn't sent to beat you down but to raise you up. Trust that it wasn't sent to, to, to break you, but to make you. Think of your life like a giant puzzle. 
in order to complete the puzzle, every single piece is just as important as the other one. You have different shapes, different sizes, colors, highs, lows, good times, bad times, failures and success, and on their own, they seem random and incomplete, but together, it makes sense. Once all the pieces come together, you can see the whole thing. You have to be able to see the bigger picture in your life, or at least have faith that your puzzle will come together in God's time. Use the pain in your life as fuel to take you wherever you need to go. Use the mess in your life as a blessing to take you someplace better. Have faith and trust that some endings are sent for new beginnings. Pain is temporary. It may last a minute, an hour, a day, or even a year, but eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. But if you quit, however, that will last forever. Find the purpose in the pain. Be one of the few that sees the message in the mess. Be one of the few who gain the strength through the struggle. Be one of the few who sees the blessings in the lessons. My one lesson for you today about success is this. Big things have to start small. Successful people know that their efforts will become significant as they move forward. Rain started with just me, just one, sitting in a room by myself. Start small and establish a routine. Every morning, I focus on having a positive